Guys, if you want cheap and reliable NBA 2K20 MT, go to Safe NBA MT for fast delivery and use code WITNESS for a 5% discount. If you need to go 12 or no, complete spotlight challenges or spotlight sim challenges, domination, evolve cards, and more things like that, Go ahead and contact Rose NBA on Twitter right now. Link for that is in the description. Yo, what's going on, guys? Witness 2K back on NBA 2K20. In this video, we have another locker code slash prize pack pack opening video. Gonna be opening up a few packs in this video. I'm um, gonna be showing you some packs I pulled off camera, but I was able to save the screen recording of it. So make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like on this video right now and subscribe to the channel if you are new so you never miss out on pack opening videos. Now in my unopened packs, I do have a takeover pack, some prime series and some other things like that. Nothing too crazy, but I do want to start off with the off camera pulls I got. I'm going to start playing a clip up on the screen guys. I bought VC before the new NBA is back promo came out and I saw the duo packs there and I got a little bit tempted and opened up. I opened up like two 10 boxes. The first 10 box was nothing but pink diamonds. I wasn't able to get anything higher then a pink diamond. The second box did heat up for me though. We got two Galaxy Opal pulls from this box. The first one was Galaxy Opal Larry Bird, who I thought was gonna be really cheap at the time, but I was able to sell him for like over 50K, which I was actually surprised about. And then we got another Galaxy Opal pull in that box who ended up being, I'm pretty sure it was Patrick Ewing. Pretty sure it was, Buzz Beater one. He sold for about 18 and a half K, so Nothing too crazy, but they were a couple nice opal pulls. And then after I opened in my original NBA is backpack opening, I opened up a couple of singles just to see how, just to see how that'd go. You know, we all do it. You know, you got a bit of extra MT. Don't screw it. I'll open up a pack, and I ended up pulling James Harden for the first one, which is pretty solid. He's really cheap, but it was a card I didn't have, so I was happy with it. I opened up another one. And I was actually able to pull Galaxy Opal Kawhi Leonard, which was a massive dub. You know, the first few Kawhi sold for like 900 to to 700k. Like he was really expensive, so it was definitely really hype. He's only selling for about 250k at the moment, so he's not expensive anymore. But I was actually pretty hyped to pull that card, and it saves me buying it to lock in the set. So I was happy with that. So that's actually four opal pulls right there that I was able to get off camera that I did want to show you. Obviously, these NBA packs, NBA are backpacks. You know, I can open up one of these, and I'm obviously going to pull a Galaxy Opal card. But you know, I do want to save my MT. I do want to go through and open up these. So I had this Players Club locker code. Who seriously? Pretty sure this is the guaranteed it's a diamond player it's nothing exciting you know it was the lock code i posted in one of my previous videos it's a raptors point guard i can't remember his name to be honest um but i mean it, it is a card i wish i could quick sell it at least um to make like one and a half k mt because i'm obviously never going to be using that player but I mean, we do have some prime series players right here if we could pull a pink diamond wilt i mean the auctions are so the auction house is so broken. We do get a diamond pool, but the auction house is so broken, man. Everything is so cheap. Everything from go cards to just everything, man. Absolutely everything is cheap as hell. We get a diamond Kevin Love right here. Um, you know, but I mean, at the end of the day, this happens every year. We we know it's coming. We know it's coming. That 2K are going to start dropping some insane content where it's just gonna absolutely destroy value of everything. Everything is gonna lose value. So we can't act too surprised. We knew it was coming, you know, it's not too long till NBA 2K21 comes out and we gotta start all over again, which I am looking forward to, but I'm not looking forward to it. I don't really know how I feel about it to be honest, but yeah, cards are cheap. And it obviously like if you have a card that was expensive, like Goat Giannis or Out of Positions KD, those are my expensive cards and you see him selling for like under 500k it's it's a bit of a bummer man it is a bit of a bummer because you thought you know that's what makes sort of it makes it a little bit more exciting is like i have these expensive cards and now it's like they're not that expensive but again we see you coming we know it's happening every single year but if you've lost value on a card let me know who you've lost value on let me know did you have but i mean even the new goat lebron is cheap Goat LeBron James is cheap, man. At least by the time we record this video, unless his price has randomly gone back up, which I don't think it has, but 
He's selling it for like a million MT, which is so cheap. But we are going to be getting... I mean, I am pre-recording this video, so I don't think this, the GOAT packs have come out. But we are going to be getting these new GOAT players. So I'll put a picture of the GOAT players up on the screen for you guys. We are getting a bunch. These are going to be GOAT packs. I think they're going to be super packs. Like, they may do this instead of putting go cards in the token market to be honest because this way 2k can make money on it i know that sucks but kind of feel as though that we may not actually get go plays in the token market but um they're dropping a new Giannis that can play point guard in packs the original Giannis we already have uh goat wilt there'll be a new goat tim duncan a goat kevin durant who i really want that car that car looks awesome another goat lebron james that can play point guard the current LeBron James we already have, uh, Goat Magic Johnson, Goat Michael Jordan, a new Goat Tracy McGrady who looks like a beast. That card will be ridiculous. There is a new Goat Dirk Nowinski, uh, the original goat, uh, goat Shaq that we have. And we have three new ones. There's going to be a Hakeem, Bill Russell, and John Stockton will also be in packs. So those are all new Goat cards. And there'll be Goat Yao Ming as well. So there's one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. There's 16 total. 16 total go cards that will be in packs whenever these come out i don't think they're out by the time i drop this video so i'm assuming in a few days we will see them but we got the three final packs right here An opal Kawhi would be really nice to pull we'll take a quick amethyst uh, a quick bronze though but yeah those those super packs i think they're super packs there's no way they're going to be guaranteed opal packs because I mean, that would mean you get a guaranteed GOAT, and I just don't think that would happen. I'd be really surprised if it did. We get a diamond contract right there. They've lost their value, though. They sell for like 10k each. And the final pack right here is a Giannis Takeover 1. I would love to pull Giannis. We do get an Emethyst pull. It's green, but I know it ain't Giannis. Maybe it is Giannis, just the original Giannis card. I don't think, don't think he's in here, actually. This is a center. Is it Larry Sanders? I think it is. We'll take him, we'll quick sell, no point selling much anymore, man. But that is going to wrap up this pack opening video, guys. I really wanted to, I don't like pulling opals and not letting you guys know who I pulled. So I wanted to show you those four opals we pulled at the start of the video. The unopened packs, I mean, they haven't shown us love all year, but I did get a diamond contract, which I'll be able to sell for like 10k MT. You know, again, it is better than nothing. But I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. Make sure you go ahead and drop a like on the video right now. And subscribe to the channel if you are new with that notification bell turned on. And the shout out of the video goes to Jesse Lopez. Shout out to you, bro. I appreciate you commenting. But I'll catch you guys on the next upload. It's been witnessed.